Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. This is Henry Lee. I'm going to uh, show you how to copy um, this uh, book called The Simple and Clear Bamboo Painting Manual. Um, it's basically like a basic strokes basic strokes of uh, painting bamboo. Um, we have a ebook. Let me pull that out. And if I can show you the, that with me, I have to turn my camera, see if I can do this at the same time. There you go. Okay. Um, so in front of me, I have the ebook version of the same book. I got um, in early seventies or eighties, uh, late eighties, uh, late seventies, early eighties. Um, this book has been out of print, but we do have a new version. I think um, available. It's a hard copy if you want to get from Blue Heron Arts. Um, so this, this is what uh, we'll do today for um, daily practice. It's a very calligraphic. We use the uh, same brush. Oh, I have a question, Stanley. Uh, I have got a question from a viewer asking me uh, what's the best brush to purchase from Blue Heron um, for painting bamboo and um, writing characters. I will say the same brush, you know, I have been using this uh, Wang Xizhi, Wang Xizhi um, calligraphy brush. It might be a little too small. We'll see. Uh, depends on the size of your painting. You could use a larger brush. There are many bamboo and orchid specialty brush or you can use any stiff brush to paint bamboo. The most, uh, in most time, the are interchangeable. Um, here I have another newer version of this same brush, the Wang Xizhi calligraphy brush. Um, it has a sharp point and quite stiff. So I'll see if I just use the same calligraphy brush. I'll put this book in front of me to copy. Okay, in any old um, manual, painting manual, you'll see this kind of wood block print without any uh, ink shading or you know ink tone tonalities. Um, we need to know from. Uh, um, you know, like um, an actual painting or a, a, a contemporary painting book with a good photography, you'll see, you know, the usage of uh, ink. Uh, I see some, you know, uh, students, they uh, not only copy the strokes, but also the ink. I mean, everything is black, of course. It would not look nice. So um, you, you should paint the bamboo um, stock in light ink, right? Basically, and dark leaves. The bamboo is uh, um, ink. Bamboo is inspired by the uh, shadow casted on uh, paper window uh, in the past, in ancient times. So they're kind of like a shadows of bamboo. So we, we use only ink, but they're uh, different tones. Okay, so we do the bamboo uh, stock in light ink. You can have a little bit dark. Uh, somebody like to do that, you know, with uh, uh, especially some contemporary 
artists who try to create this uh, uh, realistic shading kind of lighting effect with one side darker than the other. You can do that, you know, by just touch touch the the dark a little bit uh, on the tip of the brush, but don't um, paint. Yeah. If you do, let me see what happens. You know, if you if you if you well, on this paper it's not so sensitive, but on some uh, rice paper, very sensitive rice paper, you will see a dark strip. Um, so you have the light. Let me just try to reproduce that problem. Um, and then you that you dip a little dark. And you have especially when you hold the brush in the wrong way, like 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 a, a slant position, not a straight position. You will see, you know, a, a strip along one side, and that's that's not good. Uh, you should. What you do is to uh, load the light ink first, right? Very light ink first. Let me just clean the brush. So I have only the light ink. Okay, light ink, and then I. I touched a little dark to the front, right? So I have this uh, uh, double load, double load. But um, I always touch the water quickly, right before I I do. I I put on the paper, so it would make the the dark um, ink. Softer, you know, you won't get a hard edge of the dark to avoid that stripe, the, the dark ink. That, that's a little bit, you know, um, talk before we uh, study the, the strokes. So the ink usage is uh, uh, different than uh, calligraphy, but in, at the beginning, you don't have to worry about loading the brush. Uh, just just use single tone, like light, light uh, ink to do the bamboo stocks, okay? Let me put this aside. Can you see my area? Just move a bit. Okay. So there's some Chinese text about you know uh, the uh, some no notations like uh, about these uh, or some uh, levels on uh, this book, but I barely read them because they're uh, in classical Chinese. Um, but generally speaking, they're talking about some uh, old um, masters. Uh, uh, styles and some metaphors like uh, uh, the beginning and the ending. I will translate some uh, if, uh, if you want to know. Uh, here it says the old uh, bamboo painting menu talks about the beginning of uh, each section, uh, each stroke is like uh, the silkworm head and end like uh, the horse hoof. Uh, the, 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 Horse hoof. I'm not because in these days we're not familiar with this. You know, never nobody have seen a silkworm in their life, maybe. But in the past, people are familiar with those, so they make this uh, uh, inspiration or metaphors. You know, uh, but the key is you know to hide the the head of the stroke, the beginning of the stroke. Um, we do paint. You know, from from uh, bottom up. So this ending is like a horse hoof. The end, the beginning of the stroke is like a silk worm head. Not sure. So don't worry. Just this is how the beginning of uh, the next section follows the the first. Section, you know. Okay. 
So there's a path, right? And then you 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 have a kind of a, you go at the opposite direction before you pull the brush. So you have this. See this one. You hide the tip. Hide, you hide the tip in the beginning, and you expose the tip. while you you see this two sections actually continuous. You see this movement in the air. The same tip goes back to to the paper, and while you, you start the next section, and then kick. This indicated the knob of the, the bamboo. Okay, same brush we, you use um, for the calligraphy. Um, one Shiju calligraphy brush. I'll write the name of the brush at the um, video description. I give you the link. Okay, and this this is the the lean uh, branch, uh, not branch, uh, stock. Uh, this is how to start a brand, uh, a stock, and uh, this is a broken stamp. So you you can add the top without uh, just like like a broken uh, stamp. That's the example on this one. This is too thick. Okay. If you uh, if you want a copy of this uh, book, you can download it from Blue Heron Arts for I think it's four nine nine, um, a, a digital version. Uh, I have it in front of me on my computer. Okay. Uh, I need to cut some papers. to cut my papers. I use uh, the uh, unbleached mulberry paper. Well, I, I'm not sure if I can get the same size. Let me just cut it this way. Well, I don't have to cut it. I can leave it. Okay, the next page uh, talks about the uh, some details on the on the stock. Yes, uh, I you know I had uh, uh, incidentally I had a question was from a student uh, Brady in Utah. Uh, he asked what is this uh, is in a Gombe painting, and you you see on real bamboo. If you haven't seen a real bamboo, you don't really understand this, but if you um, look at uh, the real bamboo, you'll find this on every uh, every bamboo stock. What it is is like a, a ditch. Um, you know, let me just outline it. Uh, in Gombe painting, you'll see uh, like a, a line, and you'll see something like a stripe. You know, it's not a stripe. It's a um, a notch, uh, 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 just a, some, you know, <laughs> how do you say, a wrinkle, a wrinkle, right, uh, on the bamboo. So this, this is more like a realistic um, style. We call it a gombi or outline style, fine line style. And so, how do you 
shaded this would be shady you know like a sh shady area so, because it's uh goes in right so um on freestyle of bamboo we don't really worry about that i haven't i, I never see um real you know freestyle painting with this but um only one according to the inscription here one uh yuan, yuan dynasty bamboo master does this because they're in, in early masters they copy natural directly um the co they copy the real bamboo they study the real bamboo um, we have the advantage of studying them the secondary natural uh, not the directory, you know, so we tend to omit this uh, little things. So we, we just, we just paint the, the bamboo without that, you know, it, it, I don't know how you, you can save that little notch as little um, ditch, whatever you call it. So the knob, the knots, right? The, the the joints, joints on the bamboo. Then it's uh, added after the the stock is done. Uh, it's it's like a writing uh, cursive style calligraphy. Okay, I have ten people watching. Hello, everybody. I um, that uh, we got more people in uh, weekend. Usually, I only have one person, uh, but it doesn't matter for me. I just you know do it uh, for my own uh, daily practice. So, <clears throat> the most common one is like uh, like this. I think it says like a bird looking back at its uh, belly. Look at this. This is the ancient people have very good imagination. So um, this is like a, the bird's beak looking back the belly, like a, you know, like a little bird with a beak looking. This is the, the kind of image if you're curious about what it, this says you know like a like a the little bird looking at the is that a good metaphor yeah and uh, this one is um, like a, a uh, silver hook we don't know this, but it could be a belt hook or some uh, element that on the clothes, the ancient clothes, they are criminal with, like some you know, hook. So you, you kick up or you kick down. That's basic too. And you can also just do um, two dots. It's called the dragonfly eyes. Dragonfly eyes, yeah, it's the dragonfly, you know, the dragonfly, the dragonfly, dragonfly eyes, they just dot the eye, dragonfly eyes. The most important part is these two dots have to uh, face each other, you know, like, uh, just like you omit the, the middle section of, of this, just do, you know, uh, like a, um, if you do very fast, sometimes you you have an absence of stroke between the two dots, the end, uh, the beginning and the end, right? Something like that. And uh, there are other styles. This is very uncommon. The, you know, the the one with this uh, vertical line, a stripe. The yeah, this this could be a common. This this is like uh, I don't know uh, how to say this. Or or one dot, one hook, 
Um, so you could create your own later, but uh, these are the basic uh, um, basic uh, style guides, uh, style types, style types. Um, so here is it says using light ink to paint the stock and dot the uh, knobs the joints with the dark darker not the darkest yeah you, you can use darker ink like it, I, I do here right so this is the tonal, uh, tonal nodes okay <laughs> let me take this uh, we, I, um, the, the, uh, shoppy, a uh, copy shop. I had the uh, scanned. They did, uh, they have to disassemble the, the book to make a digital copy for me. So, um, it is available, uh, at Blue Heron. If you want to get the, the book for yourself. You can download it without waiting, so you can follow me when you watch this video, okay? You know, when you start a branch, you don't do a whole se section, right? you just do a short one. If you have more than one, what you do is you vary the, the length of the beginning section. Those, so the uh, knobs, you know, the joints will not be at the same level. And the trick of uh, making an even uh, stroke is to pull the brush. So the brush handle pointing to the direction of the, um, movement, not pushing it, not against it. You don't have to hold it straight, but uh, you could, I think that's uh, uh, if you move your arm. And if you make a uh, crossing, um, if you make two, you know, you should vary this beginning session and you can uh, make a cross if you want. You see, this is a, and you can vary the thickness of it. Don't bend the section, but you can you can bend uh, between sections. Like you can go. Uh, let me see. I'll go straight. I try not to point it to the same. Let's just do it this way. Well. It's a hesitation. That's no good. <clears throat> what it, what I do is I, I can cover it with leaf later, right? But uh, don't worry about that. You can uh, next classically you don't do the leaf. You do the, the little twigs or, or branches. You know, like uh, um, the little branches do have the the uh, joints, the the uh, knots, but you don't really worry about like. A, you know these uh, uh, major ones. So you you do it uh, like a uh, what we call the uh, working style or running style calligraphy. Like here it says it's like uh, the birds claws, birds claws. You know, notice the the short one short and one long, uh, so you you don't have this kind of Y, you know, like it's equal. So this is the do's. You know, you do long, short, 
it's like pending tree. Um, we use four four branch formula in landscape, right? The G similar. We uh, in the old manual, this is known as the the fish bone, the skeleton, fish skeleton. Fish. This is I think this single uh, stroke is like fish bone. It has the the head like this. It's called fish bone. You can also uh, paint from uh, outside in. So some uh, the long ones maybe goes uh, from bottom up, and then you can add some short ones like like this. It's all okay. It's quite free. You concentrate on the whole uh, feel of it. Not not really. Because if you make a mistake, make a, a ma mess, you can always uh, cover it with the leaves later, right? Oh, don't forget the joints. First, looking back at the, the belly, or dragon eyes and uh, hook goes up okay same brush i used for the uh, calligraphy i used for, for painting also This is the bamboo, instantly, this is a bamboo uh, cutting knife. You can carry it uh, uh, to board your airplane without uh, trouble, I think. <laughs> it's just, uh, it's, it's not a made of metal. And the best part of it is you can kind of make a tone uh, cut. Okay, this is the page, next page, talks about uh, the, the bamboo shoot. The bamboo shoots, you, you paint like a, uh, oops. One long, one short. They're not uh, the same. And then you dot the uh, the little this uh, top a tip with dark. Like so again with the lighter ink. One one large, one small. Okay, dark. You can also touch a little pattern if you like on the skin of the the wrap. Um, <laughs> this is the dragon, uh, we call it, a, what is it called? Uh, whip. Bamboo uh, whip. Um, you know, some exposed. I'm not sure why this, you, you could see that the root on the ground like that, you know, the, just little sections of a bamboo root. And uh, this is the new uh, young uh, stock spring, you know, so it could be 
or is thin. Just, uh, and then the, the branch always come from the joints, right? You don't paint both sides. You paint uh, left and the right, left, not both sides. At least, you know, not the same length. Alternate the size. This is the, the top, the, before the leaves comes out. Anyway, the this one is the old um, the autumn bamboo. Uh, some you know leaves has fallen, so the, you only paint the um, branches. This is a like a secondary branch, and then you you do lots of uh, like I said, you can do. Um, the long ones inside, I mean, bottom up, and then the, the little ones from outside in. If you could do this, you can um, you can omit the leaves. You know, like uh, you don't have to paint a lot of leaves. But these branches also very characteristic of bamboo. You should practice well. And all you need to do for autumn bamboo is just like uh, you know one a couple of uh, leaf, leaves uh, um, left, right, to get a, a feel of autumn. They don't really fall, fell. Maybe the old bamboo, I will say, they don't really uh, like a, to get get all the leaves fell because uh, the evergreen uh, is an evergreen plant. This is maybe called, better called old bamboo. You don't have to dot uh, the the little twigs. The, the joints, just very, very suggestively, maybe. Okay. Hi, Kevin. It's good to uh, paint along. Very good. Try to keep my book together. Okay, the next um, is a um, two leaf or one leaf uh, composition. And you notice the leaves goes up because the young leaf uh goes up in, in the spring bamboo so um, let's do one leaf one leaf just like a writing uh a slant brush like you, you do the in the calligraphy right um you can add the stem late you know, after it you can also uh, do it at first so you, this this is what i would try so you can you can paint the stem first and then add the leaves if you will whichever comes to you uh, first is okay i think there's no certain rule um that although you know um the way it grows is not usually the, the better way. 
the stem before the leaf. So you could have one uh, longer or bigger than the other. So uh, this two looks too close, right? Compared to the book. You know, this, this shorter, this longer. So let's do it again to correct that. Um, I don't want to repeat. You can add more leaves um, to adjust if, if it, uh, you need. But at this point, I just do another one. So this one is longer. And this one is short, All right? And then I add the You can you can do just um, a kick, I think, and then add another section. And very suggestive, really. Yeah, don't try to um, depict anything. It's a calligraphic, not a, like a drawing, you know. So this one, uh, talking about the site perspective. So you can you can do a site perspective perspective with just one dot. Remember we we have this kind of dot in, in calligraphy, right? So the same same way. And then so one one large, one short, you could the the, the small one could be as small as a, a dot that represents the the leaf in a in a side view. If I outline it, you see what I mean. The side view, you only see the uh, profile, you know, a little bit. This is the full view. So, and this one is a windy bamboo or curved leaf with a curved uh, tip. Uh, this is, you do it in, in two stroke, you know, one, and then uh, a, small, a small one, I would say, just like a two strokes, but uh, you can have a, this, this beginning is like a, you, you you write, you always do a, a dot kind of, it goes to the opposite direction or side direction, direction before you, you, you go to the right direction. And you lift the brush and press again and lift. So there are two sections you can do to indicate the wind. It's a hard one. You have to keep the continuity, uh, the idea complete with the absence of stroke. So the idea has to con continue. If you if you miss it, it will look like, you know, if it, it's broken, but it's not really broken leaf, right? So this, this part has to be, uh, the chi has to connect. Okay. And, uh, I'm not sure about this. This just talk about uh, um, with upward upward uh, movement, but uh, maybe different uh, size. You know, you can you can. You hide the tip in the beginning and uh, expose the tip. <clears throat> some um, some problem I I have seen before is like a student always you know have a too uh, extended tip, so you you have to stop right in the air here, not following through too, you know, too far. So you, you have a 
hidden start hidden uh, tip start and then lift to the brush and stop right there there's a there's a uh, let me exaggerate the movement so that's that's the correct way if you just slobby you know if this is wrong this is called the drag uh, the rat tail to you know our our shu jian empty point without the qi you know just a sloppy ending i will say that the ending should not be should be pointed right but you know not too long it could be see stop in air the title of the book is uh, uh, simple and clear simple and clear bamboo manual Bam bamboo painting manual maybe um, I'll put the link right away here so you can go directly. Let me do a search. Simple and clear. Simple. I just do a search on my website, Blue Heron. You can just put the first word simple. I think it will pull it out. Yes. We have two um, copy, two forms. One is digital. I'll give you the search result so you can you can uh, choose between digital copy, which you have to wait from shipping. Um, and uh, if you download it, if you purchase the download version, you don't have to wait. Then let me give you the direct link for downloading. Okay, we have two minutes left. Any questions? <laughs> the brush is a uh, uh, Wang Xiju. Yeah, this is an older version um, because the, the size will fit on the computer paper. <laughs> you can print it. Uh, the, 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 some version is uh, uh, square. Uh, the, yeah, there's a new printed version also because the, the uh, Rong Bao Zai version, the uh, green covered version was uh, uh, out of print. We cannot get more. So there, this book is very um, classical, so there are many publishers, um, different versions, the same book, yeah. Doesn't matter which version you got, it's the, the same content. Um, so if you follow, if you like this uh, demo, um, I will continue. So you, you'll get, uh, you can write your notes on the, on the page with, uh, because it's hard for me to translate the whole book in English. Um, but I will talk through it and uh, explain it because, you know, like those metaphors they use to describe the look of the, the leaf doesn't make much sense today. Uh, you know, like a silkworm head, nobody has seen that, or a ho horse foot end, you know, like we talked about the, the bamboo stalk. Um, so you, yeah, you need to interpret it, not just translate it, right? Literally. Okay. Um, tomorrow I have Tai Chi lesson, so I can do it. I see you on Monday.
Have a good weekend, everybody.